What's going on? It's good to hear your voice, man. How are you? Great. I'm doing great. Is Daniel here too? Daniel is alongside me, yes. All right. What's up, DC? <laughs> What's up, John? <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good, man. That's good. That's good. All right, I just have one question for you. Yeah. So, DC, I got a question for you. How, how are you doing, man? How's, how's life uh, fighting? No, I mean, it's good. My life is going really well. Thank you. Well, I just wanted to say, Daniel, I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of the way life is turning out for you, man. I think it's awesome. Man. Congratulations with everything you got going. Your students all the best as well. And your development and your development seems to be going great, too. And that's very encouraging. So Thanks. a lot of people Thanks. look up to you. So make sure Thanks, you continue man. to do that. Yep, I'm on it. I'm on it. You guys have anything to say? Thank you. It's good to talk to you uh, with this energy instead of the way we usually are. This is refreshing. So thank you for your time, Daniel. And, and John, you as well. Thank you, brother. We'll see you uh, tomorrow, if not sooner. Have a good night, all right? All right, guys. Take care. You too. We're that was cool. Yeah, that was, that was cool. so much cool. class. <laughs> and also the John Jones and I interaction. This time we're doing fighter meetings. John Jones being one of those guys calls in. My producer said to me, are you going to ask any questions? I go, ah, I don't know, right? Because you have to kind of gauge the energy. So when John says, hey, can I speak to Daniel? Which is very odd because John and I aren't great friends. We probably never will be great friends. And that's okay. He and I don't need to feel like there is an obligation for us to have some sort of great relationship. It doesn't need to be that way. You know, I I know a lot of people love where old rivals become friends. It doesn't have to end that way. Life is not all sunshine and rainbows. They don't have to be friends at the end of it. It's fine. And it can be odd when you come into contact with someone like that. And he felt like he wanted to do an icebreaker. So we start to talk. And I did have a question for John. Once he broke the ice, because honestly, I don't think I was going to. And then the UFC pans to me and they, I flip him off. Guys, I wasn't flipping off Jones. Those guys, everybody made a joke in the room afterwards. And so I flipped the bird. But it was clever because it makes it look. Three days away. Can I get everyone away. just to look right here at me? Three days away. Okay. Three days away. You can't stop. Three. Thank you. Three days away. Three. Three days. All right, thank you. We'll get to some interviews now. Stay on the stage. We'll get you organized. Yo. Dang, I have to help you up. Yo. They gonna have to help you up. Girl, you gonna have to help you up. Help you up. We gonna see about it. Help you up. We gonna see. With the faint. I see you with the faint. Hey, 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 that level right there. Right there. Right there. What? What is this? Oh, this doesn't look good. Sorry. Doesn't look good. I'm a company man, I'm supporting. I will support, you know, all the time. But sometimes you just need to cover. I, I understand, you know. But I know much better, much better guy to bring, you know, action. Try finish fights, you know, knock out artists. Yeah, definitely doesn't look good. But God bless. God bless you. All right, guys, here I am again. Conor McGregor is out of 303 versus Michael Chandler with an injury. The new main event is Alex Pajeda, former not only UFC middleweight champion, he's also the first and only fighter to win both middleweight and light heavyweight titles in UFC history. He also did it in the shortest amount of time. He did it in 736 days and seven fights. He finished seven of nine wins by knockout, which is a 78% finish rate, and won 10 of his last 11 fights, and he is facing... Former UFC light heavyweight champion Yuri Prohaska, who has an unbelievable 23 first round wins. He has 25 by knockout, 3 by submission. That is a 97% finish rate. The co main event will be number three ranked Brian Ortega, who has the second most finishes in featherweight history and the second most submissions in featherweight history. He won performance of the night eight times. 
and he will be taking on rising superstar Diego Lopez. He has 22 of his 24 wins coming by finish with 10 knockouts and 12 submissions. That's a 92% finish rate. Also, Jamal Hill is out with a knee injury. So, Carlos Alburn, who is 11-1 and has six first-round finishes with seven wins by knockout and two wins by submission and an 82% finish rate, and he's on a six-fight win streak, will now be taking on Anthony Smith. He has 21 first-round finishes, 19 wins by knockout, 15 by submission, and ladies and gentlemen, that's a 90% finish rate. So, it has been a crazy week here at UFC. That is the new lineup for UFC 303. I'll see you guys in Vegas. I'm Não se espera, calma, 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 isso. Se fecha. Olha os bloqueios, não precisa botar volume não, mano. Bota o volume como tem que botar. Ó, aí, ó, isso aí, 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 moleque, essa foi boa, tá vendo? Começa a pegar a resposta em cima da mão, eu vou aqui embaixo. Você tá te cutucando. Boa, tá não. Respira, levanta a mão. Levanta a mão. Levanta a mão. Levanta a mão, filho. Levanta a mão, levanta a mão. Isso. 